Hi, I'm Donna with Donna's Things. Welcome to the channel. I certainly do appreciate you coming here. If you are new, thank you for taking the time to come over and see what's going on on this side of the camera. I really do appreciate it. If you ha are returning, then you know my heart as always it's always the same thing. I really, really, really appreciate you and you taking your time also. I'm excited. I have a couple of makes. <laughs> so if you've been following my channel, you know that I just uploaded um, two videos. I had a pretty nice size fabric haul and some new patterns. So on the 14th and 15th, I shopped at my favorite store, Fabric Hut in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, they were having their annual sale and I bought quite a bit of fabric. The majority of the fabric that I bought is for the fall, but I did say that there were a couple of things I was gonna get right on. And so I'm here to show you these things. So. Today is Wednesday, and I'll let you know, I started sewing, I sewed Monday night, I sewed Tuesday, and then today, Wednesday, I finished up the things that I had started. I was going to go a little bit further and show something else that I said I was going to make, but, you know, I slowed it down, took a little... Uh, took a little break, but I have some beautiful things that I want to show you. Maybe you'll like them and you want to make them for yourself or you've been watching it and now you know what they look like. So I'm going to get started with the first pattern, the wraparound pants. This is Simplicity 9595. Simplicity 9595. Again, that's the line drawing. I'm sorry. <laughs> and this wraparound pant is gorgeous. Now, it's one pattern piece cut twice. Mine had to get an extra seam because I used two colors. I put the black in the front part and I put the color in the back part. And this fabric, it's like a sateen. A couple of things I bought. It's it's a polyester sateen, kind of lightweight. The um, the black is is a is some type of polyester satin, but if you could hear it, to me, it has a little bit of taffeta in it. I don't know, but these are the wraparound pants. It's hard to see with this dress I got on. Look, that's the back. That's the fabric that I use. That's the back. And what they did was you took the one piece, it the black I chose for the front, it wraps around the back. And in the back, I use white elastic. I'm sorry, y'all. You have elastic in the waist and it hooks in the back like that. And then you take the secondary piece and it wraps around the front with a drawstring and looks like this. These, they're absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if they just for an every day, I plan to wear mine. I took a picture of it in a um, black shirt, but I really want to wear a nice black shirt and wear these uh, in the evening. But they are so nice. They wrap all the way around. And all I had to do was the outside pieces just got top stitched down. And I did hem it. Um, anybody knows me, I like um, the seam binding. So I got the lace uh, seam binding to put on it. The only thing I would do different, I'm going to make another pair, not necessarily two-tone, just the one tone. I won't have to do the extra seam, but I probably won't do it where the inside or the backside of the fabric is white. I would like to see it all just one color, but these came out really, really, really nice. Very nice. And I love the pattern. See how I was able to 
get that full look back here, match it up. And then of course here, and then that bottom is turned like that. Very nice. I really like them. It didn't take me that long uh, to make. I didn't time it specifically, but it didn't take that long to make. The second thing that I made, now this is three pieces, but they go together. So it's, um, it's a vest. It's like a denim jacket vest. And there's a pair of shorts and a pair of pants. I want to show you the vest last. So let me get started with the shorts. I use Simplicity 8056, and they call it Amazing Fit. And I got to be honest with you, yes, it is. You can cut, the front is one piece with the various sizes, but the back you have a choice for a slim, a curvy, or an average. And I decided to use the uh, the slim. I normally cut my pattern size 12. Sometimes I have to do a half inch instead of a 5 eighth inch, but this time I cut the 14 slim. And I'm telling you guys, this is gorgeous. I did shorts. If you look like that, you can see because um, I uh, my serger is not acting right so i didn't want to have to zigzag but so much material so i cut shorts i'm glad i did because i do see the ladies wearing the nice straight shorts that stop at the knee and kind of dressing it up a little bit and i haven't had anything like that so i decided to do that but these are really 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 nice i use the black now this is a premium cotton it's just black, so you can't necessarily see the design, but it has a little flap here. It has a, a hook, and then it had the button on the inside and the fly front. <laughs> and you know me, here are the inside pocket looking like this. Let me show you. <laughs> That's the inside pocket. I zigzag. First, I pink and sheared. I cut my seams with the pink and shear, and then I zigzagged them. Um, I think I used the overcast stitch, I think. And then on the pocket, I just added a little bit of fun, and I trimmed it with some bias tape. So that's what the inside looks like. And I didn't want to use too much of that black fabric because it was for something else. So I just spayed that. And so this is the pocket. Really, 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 really cute. Um, so the pocket is here. Here's the back. And again, it has that fly front zipper. There's a button. And then there's the hook. And they look like this. Oh. And they stop at my knee. They look really, really, really nice. I will definitely, I thought I had already found my uh, go-to pants pattern, but that will get added to the collection because that Simplicity 8056, like I said, I used the slim. I knew I wasn't slim. But I also knew I wasn't curvy and the average was looking quite full. So I tried to slim. Glad I did. Regular 5 8 inch slip. The only thing I changed is the back because there's a, um, the, in, there's a face and not a waistband right here. My mom used to call it a sway back. I don't know. But I did have to make larger than a 5 8 inch seam because of that curve or that sway that's in my back. But that was all I had to do. Absolutely gorgeous. Very easy to make and very nice. My second pair um, that I made to go with it are these teal. It's like a gabardine, but I don't know. Gabardine usually doesn't quite do this, but it's like a gabardine. Um, it's just a straight leg pair of pants. I don't like wide waistbands, so I just put the teeny, like, half-inch waistband there. That's how they look with the darts in the front. I do have the invisible zipper and a little hook 
um, here at the top. The pants are pretty much cropped. They're in this pretty teal color. They um, pretty much crop and they're not straight straight, but they give a nice straight leg of fit uh, fit. They fit pretty close to me, which is what I wanted them to do because I didn't want them to be dressy. I wanted them more casual and I use Butterick 6948 to make the pants. Butterick 6948 and here are the line drawings. So this has turned into my favorite pants. So now I have three. I have a vintage style pattern. I have the Simplicity Amazing Fit that I just showed you and this buttery. But the final piece is this vest denim type, denim pattern, but it's, it's the jacket, it's the vest and it's McCall 7729. Here are the line drawings. McCall 7729. If you saw my haul, or if you go back and watch it, you will see that my third trip to the store, I purchased this premium cotton fabric. It was in home decor. Oh my gosh, absolutely gorgeous. I don't talk about money on this channel, but it, it had a nice little cost to it. And that's why it was my third trip. Because after I had gone home, I shopped Friday, I shopped Saturday. And after I had gone home Saturday, I went back because I decided, yeah, I do want that piece of fabric. I don't normally buy animal print. I don't do the tigers. I don't do the leopards. If I buy something like that, it is never the go-to piece that I go get out of the closet but this right here look at this now imagine making this vest without a surgery and I didn't French seam it but this is the vest so I used the black this is the same cotton sateen, which was a cotton, which was a premium fabric also. That's what the black shorts are made out of. I used the same thing for these pieces, but here's the insert. The insert here, it's got the flap. There's no pocket here. It did have a welt pocket. I didn't do it. I didn't want to mess up my fabric. So it had this and it had, I used the animal print for the yoke and the front. I also didn't want to mess up my buttonhole, so I put snaps. I snapped it all the way down, four nice snaps, and then I sewed the buttons on top of it. So here are the snaps. And I didn't have the serger, but look at that. I zigzagged the seams, top stitched them down, and I was like, oh, I'm going to have to line it. But I bought the iron on hem tape and I covered every seam. This seam is covered. The underarm is covered. The shoulder seam is covered. Going across the back is covered. All the seams. It has this regular collar. And of course, it, I have black underneath. And this is the back of the jacket. This has a yoke also, and this is the back of the jacket. I don't know if you get in the sharpness of the color, but it's in. But I'm gonna tell you, and see that's back, everything's top stitched. This is really, really, really a nice, uh, a nice vest. And when you spend a lot of money on fabric, you know it. You can tell the difference than if you bought something maybe not as high quality. But I really, I'm very pleased with this vest and the way it, um, the way it came out. And so when I show my pictures, I feature it with the shorts and a t-shirt. And I also fe feature it with um, the teal pants because I thought that was a nice, um, 
a nice color group. And I have a few labels. So the label I chose was one I bought from a quilt show. And I, you, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just a little label and it says, you can't buy this. <laughs> so it's really, um, really, really, really nice. I enjoyed making it, but I have to tell you, see, I got to be honest with you. I'm a pretty fast sewer. This vest took seven hours I didn't sew seven hours straight I sewed for about three hours including cutting it out you know cutting your pattern cutting the pieces out of the fabric um, all this handwork the whole everything but I sewed for about three hours maybe a little bit more I took a little break. I had to go to the store. I went to the store. I came back. I got something to eat. And then I sewed the next three and a half, three hours and 45 minutes and just went on and finished it up. And I did that because it was coming out so good. I was so excited. I wanted to see it done. But I'll tell you, when you get a premium fabric, you use every animal <laughs> every design that you can. So I placed them. I got something here. I got a little guy here. I got that. I got the butterfly on the back of the collar. I was like, I am not wasting any one of the designs that's on here. And I got little scrap pieces. I'm not going to throw them away. I'm actually trying to find a way I can make myself a little... Um, a little bag, you know, of some sort, like a small little satchel, something for my wallet, my my ID, my cell phone, and my keys. I don't really know. But I really enjoy making this. I haven't made anything like this before. I, I, I usually don't like all these pieces, but it's, it's really, really good. So I'm glad that I went on and did it. And now, I'm on to something else. Uh, the rest of, I have one more piece um, from that haul that I'm going to go ahead and make now. It's a shirt. It's a bodysuit. One of the um, Nomi Erica Bunker patterns. I'm not going to make the whole set. I'm just going to go ahead and make the bodysuit and I want to get that done. And depending on how it makes up, I think that would be a good sew along um, to do. I've made several bodysuits before, so I'm assuming that this one won't be um, very much different. So but that's it for the day, guys. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in and watching. If you haven't already watched the fabric haul, please do so. It's um, the 14th and the 15th of this month, haul number one and haul number two. And you can see where these fabrics came from. The teal piece I had in my stash because I've made a skirt out of it. Even though I showed it in the haul video, but I already had that. I had made a skirt. I went back and got more to make a pair of pants. And then I had gone back another time to make um, one of my shift type dresses um, to wear, which I haven't made that yet. So if you get a chance, if you enjoy watching the content, um, you like what you saw, hit that like button. If you will tell somebody about my channel, if you want to subscribe, of course, you are more than welcome. I appreciate it. I do not take it lightly. The channel is growing unexpectedly only because I'm new to all of this, but you guys are so much support. Keep those comments coming. I like to hear what you say. I do try and respond. I know I respond to every comment, even if I don't do it right away but continue uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you prefer to just come in and watch when you want to you are more than welcome to do that but in any case ring that bell so that every time i upload a video you will be notified i really 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 do appreciate you so thank you so much it's donna's things bye <laughs>